Good morning. Good morning. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. The Lord woke us up this morning, and I'm glad about it. We're going to read this morning from Psalms 146, and we're going to read it in its entirety. It's okay to take your time for the Lord. Am I right about that, preacher? <laughs> when you have it, say amen. Psalms 146, and it reads as thus. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, not in the son of man in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth. He returneth to his, to his earth. And in that very day his thoughts perish. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven and earth, the sea, and all therein is, which keepeth truth forever, which executed judgment for the opposed, which giveth, I'm sorry, for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth the prisoners. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth righteousness. The Lord preserveth the strangers. He relieveth the fatherless and widow. But the way of the wicked, he turneth upside down. Mm. The Lord shall reign forever. Even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations, praise ye the Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to his hearers and doers of the holy and most precious word. Good morning, church. Now, I'm supposed to pray right about now. And I will. And, and, but I have a moment. You know, every now and then you get a moment. I, I had a moment. And, and I have to share this with you. Because you, you have to understand what the Lord has done for me. See, about four years ago, in two days, I had this heart attack. And the significant thing about that is the doctor says, I shouldn't be here. And see, when I was standing here, I had that but God moment. See, you, you understand that? I had that but God moment. You know, when, 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 the, when the medical doctor says, you shouldn't be here, and now four years, in two days, I'm standing here, but God. And, and, and it, it just jumped all over me to the point where my knees are shaking. I can't hardly speak, but I have to say, but God. You understand? But God. If he done something for you, at some point in your life, but God. God. You know, I don't know what it is. You know. But God. Father God, we come to you now with bowed heads and humble hearts. We thank you, dear Lord, for this another day's journey. For when the odds are stacked against you and you reach out and the only thing you can say is, but God. When things are not going your way, but God. And, and Lord, we, we thank you for being that, that God in our lives, for being our Alpha and our Omega, for being our beginning and our end, for being our all in all, for being merciful and kind when 
when we can't be merciful and kind to ourselves, for being loving when we don't love ourselves, to be all-knowing and all-seeing, Lord, we thank you for who you are and what you are. And we thank you, dear Lord, for, for your mercy when you allowed your son Jesus to die on Calvary's cross for our sins. Just so, just so a sinner like me could have the right to the tree of life. But God. Lord, we praise you and we adore you. And on this day, from the bottom of, of, of this old person's heart, Lord, we thank you for being God. And it is in Jesus' name I pray. But God. And everybody say amen. amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though it holds sure to camp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek out, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. And to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. And I will offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing. Yay, I will sing praises unto the Lord. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, wait, I say on the Lord. For the Lord is great and great man to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same sun. Jesus never it was it. It was it. It was it. To be praised. Your God's to pray. Don't stop praising him. Don't stop praising him. Because he said, wait, wait. Wait on the Lord. Waiting is a hard thing to do. But today we came to not just wait. We came to worship. We came to worship the Lord. We came to worship him in spirit and in truth. Y'all too quiet for me this morning. You didn't wake up to come in here and hold your peace. I told y'all last week, I don't want to rock crying out for me. God has been too good. So come on, y'all. If God's done anything for you, show some signs. Wave your hands. Shout glory. Hallelujah to his holy name. We've come into the house of the Lord to worship today because I was glad when they told me let us come into the house of the Lord. Not just so I can be here because I can worship him at home all by myself, but so I can come and be with my brothers and sisters and worship him together in spirit and in truth. Let us pray. Father God, we come today just saying thank you. Thank you for a time to come together to worship you in spirit and in truth. We pray, Lord, that our heart will connect with your Holy Spirit, Lord, and that you have your way in this place, God, and just rain down, God. Open up our hearts to receive the word and to receive what it is that you have for us. Draw in our scattered minds, Lord, and then bless the pastor as he prepared to break the bread of life, God. And let it fall on fertile ground, God. Let it fall on hearts that want to be changed. Let it fall on minds that want to think different, God, so that we can leave this place differently than we came. In in Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, and amen, amen. If you would let any worshipers come in as we prepare for our scripture lesson, and our scripture lesson will come from Matthew chapter 25, and we'll read verses 14 through 19 together. We will read them in unison. That is verses 
That's chapter, that's Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 through 19, and we will read them together. And as we are reading them together, we will pause at a comma, we will stop at a period so that we can all read together. Amen. Amen. One, two, let's read. For the kingdom of heaven is as man traveling into a far country, who call his own servants and deliver unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made them of five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that had received one, and went and, dug, and hid his Lord's money, after a long time the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them, the word of God for the people of God. Glory be to God. And as our ministry of music come, we just want to encourage you in virtual land to share and to just join into worship with us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. How many came to magnify the Lord? to glorify the Lord. Come on, help us now. I came to, I came to magnify the Lord. Hey, hey, hey. Praise his holy name. Lift his high.
never, 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 ever, never, never, ever, never, 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 ever. God has been too good for you. He's been too good to you. We done been through COVID-19. Somebody didn't make it back home. Yeah, yeah. Never, 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 not let never, no rock. Never, Long as you never, got breath yeah, in your body, never, 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 never. I just came to glorify. I just came to magnify. I just came to praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. That's the highest praise, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I keep telling y'all, I'm sorry, God has just been so good. He's been so good. He's been so good. Y'all see, the world said I wouldn't be here today. They said I'd never amount to anything. But because of God, I'm able, I'm able to bless his name. I'm able. Hallelujah. See, sometimes, y'all, I'm sorry. I know the spirit is just in his movement. I know y'all might have some other plans. But let me tell you, somebody need to know that God is working that thing out for you. God is working in your favor. It seems still in your life. It seems impossible in your life. But God is able. And all he wants you to do is just give him the glory and the praise while you're in that thing. Don't wait till to see what the outcome is. Praise and trust him right now. Praise and trust him right now. Because he's able. Able. If the spirit allows you, tune in to the announcements and greetings on the monitor. Hallelujah. I don't want no rock crying out for me. Whoo. Good morning, Fountain of Faith. Today is Sunday, July 17th, 2022. Here are this week's announcements. Members and friends, on Sunday, July 31st, Pastor P and Lady P will celebrate 12 years in ministry with the Fountain of Faith family. Help them equip and empower children for success by supporting the Pastor P Annual Kids Scholarship Golf Tournament on Friday, July 29th at the beautiful Crystal Lake Golf and Country Club in Hampton, Georgia. You are invited to sponsor a hole or donate at any level. For more information, please visit www.pastorpyouthministry.org. Equipping children to change the world. The health and wellness ministry, Let's Move Line Dancing, will take place on Tuesdays from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. in the Annex. We ask that you move with wisdom. Masks and signed waivers are required. If you don't feel well, please don't come. For more information, please contact Sister Marcia Brooks or Sister April Woodard. Reservations for in-person worship may be made by accessing our website, www.fofmbc.org. Click Live Service Reservation to complete the form. Members and friends, please continue to register to receive the link for Bible Study Zoom class at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. Please note that Sunday School is currently only in person at 9 a.m., followed by worship service at 10.30 a.m. on Sundays. You may still download the Bible Study and Sunday School lessons from the website. Members and friends, you may call in at 1-701-802-533, access code 638-1373 for corporate prayer on Friday evenings at 7 p.m. and Monday mornings at 8 a.m. Brother Michael Bostic will facilitate the call. Fountain of Faith, if you know of anyone who needs food, please contact the church office at 770-997-0079 or please see someone with the homeless ministry 
on Saturdays between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. Fountain of Faith family, let us please remember those on our special prayer list. Sister May Oliver and Sister Mary Boyce Kelly and family. Remembering in prayer, Deaconess Donna Sackey, Brother Ricky Jackson, Sister Minerva Allen, Sister May Oliver, Deacon Jose Ward, Deaconess Christine Daniels, Sister Vanessa Smith, and Brother Cleveland Brown. We have thank you cards from Sister Julia Harris and the second grade class at Oakley Elementary School, Deaconess Marvine Drigger, and Sister Jackie Esmond. Congratulations to those who are celebrating birthdays this week. May your year be blessed and prosperous. This concludes this week's announcements. Please remember to consult our website for ongoing activities and events here at the Fountain. At this time, we ask those who are visiting with us in person to please stand, and for those visiting us virtually to please direct your attention to the pulpit for a special greeting. Thank you and have a blessed week. Amen, somebody, amen and amen, amen, amen. We just want to just thank God for you coming and sharing with us on today. This is the day that the Lord hath made, and we shall rejoice and be glad. And we're so happy to have you here with us on today. Please consider coming back and uniting with Founder Faith. Amen, church. Amen. Somebody give God a hand praise. Somebody give the Lord our God a hand praise. Amen. What a great and wonderful. You may take your seats. Amen. What a wonderful and great God we serve. Amen. And I came up here just before the altar because I just want to just put a little more emphasis on uh, we are celebrating 12 years with our youth pastor, Pastor P. A -a 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 Amen, church. Amen. Amen. A -a yeah. We, th come on, y'all. Pastor P has been a blessing, a founder of faith. Amen. He's been a tremendous, tremendous blessing to us. Amen. And 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 on the. On the fifth Sunday, on the last Sunday this month, we are going to celebrate him uh, uh, in fullness. And we ask that you be praying. Uh, and not only that you be praying, but you would support the youth ministry. A amen. He's taken us. He's taken our, our, our youth to, to higher heights. And we ask him prayers for him on the day. He's in um, um, Memphis. He's, his daughter's graduating for the master's degree. And he's trying to, yeah. And uh, he's trying to get out of that apartment. Some of y'all know how that is, right? Get to get out of that apartment. Amen. Trying to get her back here. And she'll be, in fact, she'll be coming back here to teach. She'll be teaching in Athens, Georgia. She'll be in Clark County. Amen. And she'll be attending UGA. For, amen. For further studies. Please, please, please pray. Uh, and we ask that you please pray one for the other. Amen. We're all going through something. And I got to. Note that uh, I thought I saw a brother Lewis Lindsay and family. We are praying for you all. We are we are praying for you and your family and the passing of your sister. We are praying that uh, God would step in and do what only the Lord God is able to do. Fact is, we are now preparing to approach God's throne of grace and mercy. And y'all, let us be in prayer one for the other. Praise the Lord, Fountain. It's prayer time. God has told us to give our burdens to him and he would take care of us. He will not allow the godly to slip and fall. And that's each one of us. We are his children. So therefore we have rights. Most gracious and heavenly father, 
Lord, we come before you at this time, Lord, just praising your holy name, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for being our God, Lord. Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for your son, Jesus, Lord. And then, Lord, we just thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for being an all-knowing God, Lord, and knowing all of our needs, Lord. And right now, we bring them, Lord, before you, Lord. We bring all of our cares, Lord, before you because you've told us we could, Lord. And Lord, we know you being our Father, Lord, you will give us exactly what we need in our time of need, Lord. And Lord, just continue to be with us, Lord, and, and help us to be patient, Lord, as we wait on you, Lord. And Lord, there are many names that have been posted, Lord, on our sick and shut-in, Lord. And there are many of us who are asking for prayer, Lord. Lord, we just ask right now that you step in, Lord, and just move in a mighty way, Lord, in the only way that you can, Lord. Because, Lord, if we try and do anything, Lord, we know we know we're going to mess it up, Lord. So, Lord, right now, Lord, we just ask that you lead and guide us, Lord. And, Lord, if we find ourselves going in any direction that we should not be going, Lord, we ask you to just turn us, Lord, and put us in the right way. Lord, if we find ourselves walking through doors where we should not be, Lord, we ask that you close those doors and put us in the right way, Lord. Lord, we just asking you, Lord, to allow us to, Lord, to have the ability, Lord, the wisdom, Lord, the discernment, Lord, to just follow you, Lord. Lord, we come before you praying for our church, Lord, praying for our youth department, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for the ministers that you have placed in place here, Lord. And Lord, we just ask that you take our youth department, Lord, and just make it shine all around the world, Lord, and just draw all youth in this community, Lord, to our church, Lord, and have them to lead, Lord, go in the right direction, Lord. Lord, right now there's so much going on all around us, Lord, but as you have told us, Lord, we are not to fear, Lord because you are with us, Lord. And Lord, so it doesn't matter, Lord, that the, the fig trees, there may be no blossoms, Lord. Lord, there may be the grapes, Lord. There may be no grapes on the vine, Lord. Lord, there might not even be olive, Lord, on the crops, Lord, in the fields. And the, the barrens, Lord, they may be barrens. The fields may be barren, Lord. But you, Lord, we will rejoice, Lord, in you, Lord because you are our salvation, Lord. And we th thank you, Lord, for that, Lord. And Lord, when this life of ours is over, Lord, we're just asking that you give us a home in your kingdom, Lord, so we can praise your name forevermore. All these blessings and more, we ask in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 amen. As we continue in service this morning, let us continue in giving. It is now time for our offering. And this is a part of our service where we all can participate. At this time, if you would stand to your feet. God has told us, if we do our parts, then he's told us what we, he will do. And that is, we know what, what it is that we're supposed to do in our tenth and tithing, in our tithing and our offerings. And God has told us that if we do this, he will open up the doors of heaven and pour out a blessing that we won't have room enough to receive it. And so then, therefore, I ask you this morning to please give and give from your hearts. Amen. We have our affirmation that we say together, our divine affirmation. It is on the monitor. We will say it together. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies this offering. It blesses the giver. It blesses the receiver. It returns to the giver, blessed and multiplied. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. At this time, Please follow the directions of our ushers. And those to you online, there are four ways to give.
Most gracious and heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for just having the ability to give back to you, Lord. Lord, right now, we just ask that you take this blessing, Lord, and ed bless it, Lord, so that it may, be, it may go back for the edification of your kingdom, Lord, here at the fountain. All these blessings and more we ask in your son. Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Next, we'll have the hymn of preparation, followed by the word. Everybody, we came to bless his name today because he's worthy. Hallelujah. Let the church say amen, amen. Let's say amen. I will bless thee. Somebody ought to give God a hand praise and bless his great and his wonderful name. Amen, amen. What a great God we, we serve. Amen, amen. We honor him and we give him praise and glory and majesty and might. Amen. And we want to thank, uh, amen, Sister Elaine and Sister Tangie. Let's give another great big God bless. Amen. And then have Brother Phil and Brother Darren. Amen. And amen. And, and don't fret. Don't worry. The others are on the way you are. They're on the way. Amen. 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 God's been good and kind and merciful unto us. And so, amen. We, we respond by giving him our very best. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Let us bow our heads very quickly. Eternal God, our Father, we we honor you and we thank you and we give you praise and glory and 
majesty and might for you are a great God and besides you there is none other amen amen bless his name amen uh, brothers and sisters we we come and we welcome you to our worship services here on today both to those in the congregation and to those who are in our virtual congregation amen we pronounce God's blessings in on and over your life amen uh, the church theme for 2022 is uh, this will be a year of recovery amen a a amen because the lord our god is able to recover to restore to retrieve and to renew anything that you may have lost uh, and today i want to talk about how how God allows us to uh, restore our ministry. Is that all right? How God allows us to restore. I mean, if you don't mind, 2 Kings chapter 6. 2 Kings chapter 6. Uh, we want to talk about how God restores our ministry. 2 Kings chapter 6. We're going to read verses uh, 4 through 7. Amen. I'm going to read them together, and, and, and please do not close your Bible because, you know what, now, 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 now this is a story, you know, it's, it's, it, it, when you read it, you, you know, you really have to kind of pay attention and dig in because you will fool around and you'll miss what God has for you. Uh, 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 4 through 7, King James rending, let's read together. So he went with them, and when they came to Jordan, they cut down wood. But as one was fought a beam. The axe head fell into the water, and he cried and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. And the man of God said, Where fell it? And he showed him the place, and he cut down a stick and cast it in thither, and the iron did swim. Therefore he said, Take it up to thee, and put it out of his hand, and took it. Amen, amen. Subject for today, uh, 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 the restoration. Well, look, 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 look. Let's, 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 let's look at verses 5 and 6 one more time. Okay, put them back up. Verse 5 and 6, 5 and 6, 5 and 6, 5 and 6. Uh, look, and, 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 and so kind of, can I kind of set the scene for you? A little bit, then you read it. Uh, uh, Elisha, the, the prophet Almighty God, uh, was engaging some young men into ministry. And as they were engaging in them into ministry, the very, in the very act of ministry, something happened. And, 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 and this young man said, you know what, uh, the instrument that I had been using for ministry uh, is now gone. Yeah. And I can't do what I used to do anymore. Uh, so right there in verse number five, let's read verse five together. But as one was failing a beam. The axe head fell into the water, and he cried and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. Amen. And, and 60 says, And the man of God said, Where fell it? <laughs> See, you know what? When your ministry, it, it, when you feel like it has left you, you got you to gotta know where you lost it. He said, And where fell it? And he, and he showed him the place. Look, look. And he cut down a stick. I wish I, you know what? <laughs> okay. Uh, and, and cast it in the Jordan River, and the iron did swim. So for today, the restoration of ministry. Say it with me. The restoration of ministry. Take your seats. Amen. And we, I kind of want to talk today, all right? I want to talk today, amen. Uh, ministry is defined as any intentional act, yeah, uh, uh, that we perform for others uh, to bless and to help them on the journey. Yeah, and fact is, fact, fact, fact is, every born again believer has a ministry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, God has given everybody here you know, something to do. Uh, 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 the truth of the matter is that. Everybody in this room, whether you believe it or not, you are here on assignment. And, and, and God, through the Holy Spirit, uh, has given you gifts and he's given you talents in order that you may complete the task he's given you. 
God never gives us anything in a complete state. God gives it to us, and God gives us tools. He gives us, he, he gives us gifts and talents so that we may complete what he has given us to do. Uh, what I want to know today is that do you know your assignment? Do, do, do you really know what God has called you to do and why God has you here on the earth? Because you know what? If, if God's only purpose was to get you to heaven, then the very minute that he saved you, he would have switched you off to heaven. Amen. One of the great challenges in this life here is to recognize your spiritual gift and then use it in ministry. Because the day will, hear me well, the day will come when we all stand before God in judgment. And God is going to want to know what did we do with the time, with the talent, and with the treasure that he gave us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's what the, see, the Christian judgment is, is not about heaven or hell because we're already going. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, we're already going. Wait a minute, are y'all going? I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't go, I promise you I'll go without you. I hope y'all go with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the Christian judgment is about rewards. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's about, it's about God rewarding us for what we've done in this life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 see, see rest, rest assured that the day will come when we, we have to give an account of our stewardship. And stewardship is more than just about money. But stewardship is about any and everything that God has placed in your hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so therefore, I was led to talk about the restoration of ministry. In 2 Kings 6, we find this story of a man who, who lost his, his tool, his instrument for ministry. And, 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 and I, I need to tell somebody in here that it is possible. Oh, I got you, right? It is possible to lose what God has given you for ministry. Mm. You know, a whole lot of times we say, well, if you, don't, if you don't use your gift, you'll lose your gift. That may be, that may be true, but guess what? In this text here, in 2 Kings 6, this brother was, was actively engaged in ministry, and, and he was using his gift, but guess what? He lost it anyway. Huh. But the good news is, <laughs> see, you know what? I won't come out here without some good news, okay? The good news is that his ministry was restored because the Lord our God is a restorer. Won't he give you back anything that the devil thought he had taken? Won't he restore the years that the locusts had? Won't God retrieve and return that thing back to you? It'd be even better the second time. I wish I had somebody to help me. Uh, can I tell the story, you all? Fact is, Fact, fact that, you know what, this is more than just a story because guess what? The real blessing comes in and understanding this as a parable. Huh? As a parable. We know what a parable is, right? Growing up, we said that, uh, that a parable is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. But, but guess what? Now, now, as we move on, guess what? A parable, yes, yeah, it is an earthly story, but guess what? It runs parallel to a biblical truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so in 2 Kings 6, we find the prophet Elisha working with the prophets in training. And their goal was to build a larger place for ministry. Verse number 2, verse number 2, verse number 2 lets us know that everybody was actively engaged in ministry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they all agreed. They said, let us go. We pray thee unto Jordan, and take this every man a beam, and let us make a place there where we may dwell. And he answered and said, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, now look, these brothers understood uh, uh, that, that it takes everybody to work in the cause of ministry. Let me make a church announcement. Make a church announcement. The work 
of ministry cannot be left to a select few because it takes each and every person in the body of Christ to get the work done. <laughs> and, and, and hear me well, God has given you a purpose. God has given you an assignment to accomplish before you go to live with him forever. At Fountain of Faith, every member has a ministry. And if you're not actively engaged in that ministry, then you know what? You need to get busy because Jesus is on the way back. <laughs> mm. Hear me well, hear me well. Some ministries, hear me well now, are more visible than others, but no ministry is more valuable. Some ministries are more visible, but none are more valuable or more vital in the body of Christ, which is the church. Sometimes, sometimes we are drawn to the more visible, <laughs> yeah, 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 to those out front ministries. But let me make it clear and plain, yeah, yeah, the preaching and singing ministry would not be nearly as effective if there was not someone in media, someone, there was an usher, there was someone taking up the sound, somebody, everybody. See, see, those of us who engage in those out front ministries, we can't do what we do except the ushers do what they do in the back, except the willing workers do what they do. Everybody has a part to play. Am I talking all right, you all? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at, look at, look at, look at verse number three. Y'all, look, look, I'm setting it up, okay? I want to I want to go out big, but it got to set it up. Got to be see see God. You know what? You can only go as high as your foundation and let you go, right? Yeah, yeah. Look at look at look at look at verse number three. Look at verse number three. Verse number three is is so packed. Let me unpack some of it. Verse number three, and one said, "Look, look, look. Here's your word. Two words. Be content." Mm. They were engaged. In ministry. They were doing the work that God had called them to do. They, they, the fact is they were in route to go do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, and, and one said, you know, somebody must have been kind of complaining a little bit. You know how ministry work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, everybody is not always on the same page. And, and, and one said, look, be Content. Woo. Be content. He said, I pray thee. Be content. You know, this is a great lesson for the church workers. Be content. Learn how to be content wherever God places you. Kind of keep on talking. Keep on talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. God knows what he has placed in you. God knows the gifts that he has deposited in you. And God knows where those gifts will flourish. So be content with what God has ordained in your life. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. You've grown tired. You've grown weary. Seem like the you know it's the monotony every day over and over kind of thing and and, 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 and you know what it feels like you know what Lord I need to be doing something different right now uh, 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 I need to be moving somewhere else but guess what yeah, yeah, yeah. if you learn how to be content where God places you if you learn how to patiently wait on the Lord, won't God promote you to the place where I need somebody who knows that? If you learn how to wait on God's timing, God will up, God will lift you up above wherever you thought you might could ever learn how to how to be content. Mm. Paul said, I've learned huh, how to be content. 
in whatsoever state I find myself. Uh, uh, all he said, you know, I'm satisfied with where God has me right now. I don't know about tomorrow, but right now I'm satisfied with what God is. Is anybody here satisfied? Are you content with what God is doing in your life right now? Uh, uh. Keep moving, three, three, and one said, be content. Yeah, I pray thee. Look, 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 look. Go with thy servants. And he answered and said, I will go. The brothers here, they had learned how to be content and satisfied with what God is doing in their lives. In verse number four, verse, verse four, verse four, verse four. So he went with them. Mm. And when they came to Jordan, <laughs> look what happened. Look, he, look, 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 Elisha is now with the other brothers. And now they have come to the river Jordan. They had a purpose for going there. They want to build a larger place for ministry. And when they got to the Jordan, they cut down wood. Can I make a plan for you? They cut down. They went there with a purpose in mind. And the purpose was to cut down wood in order to build a better place for ministry. Can I ask you in here, are you cutting down wood where God has placed you? Are you doing the work that God has called you to do? Are you, do you have your axe? Are you cutting down some wood so that you can build back better and bigger? So, <laughs> get this now. I told y'all some, that something always happens in ministry, right? Look, look. And while in the very act <laughs> of performing ministry, while doing the thing that God had called them to do, disaster struck. Yeah. Look at verse 5. Verse, verse 5. But as one was failing a being, the axe head fell into the water, and he cried and said, Alas, master, small, lowercase m. He went to lower it now. Master, for it was barbed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wasn't even his. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this brother was doing what God had called him to do. And, 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 and yet he lost his ability to complete his assignment. You know, sometimes in life, can I talk to somebody real quick? Sometimes in life, you can be actively engaged in doing what God will call you to do, but something happens to interrupt you and to stop you from successfully completing your assignment when you thought it was supposed to be finished. Uh-oh. Can I come a little closer? Can I, can I, can I, can I come a little closer, you are? Yeah, 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 yeah. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, you were actively engaged in ministry. Then came this worldwide virus. Yeah, 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 yeah. And changed the world as we knew it. And the ministry that you used to do. Uh-oh. Huh? Yeah. You don't do no more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody got sick in service, and your sickness has interrupted the service you used to offer for the Lord. And now, as a, you don't do the work that you used to do, others of us just got caught up in the busyness of worldliness. And don't you look bad at nobody who got caught up because it's easy to get caught up. Fact deal, somebody here don't got caught up. But if you are caught up, then God sent me to tell you that whatever you are caught up in, he can lift you above that thing and he can restore, he can return, he can give you back. With God, 
you can begin. Yeah. Say it with me. With God, you can begin again. Y'all got it. With God, you can begin again. Y'all got it. With God, you can begin again. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I'm almost done, you all. Clock, the clock says I got two minutes, but I need three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this man's dilemma. Yeah, verse 5 says, but one was failing. He was, he, he, he was chopping, cutting down the tree, cutting down the beam. Look, and the axe head fell in the water. He lost the instrument. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. He lost the minute through no fault of his own. And he cried, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, alas, master, for it was viral. Mm. Can I tell somebody here that every ministry that we are engaged in is a borrowed one? Amen. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. See, 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 because look at everything in this life belongs to the Lord. Yeah, yeah. We don't own anything down here. We don't even own ourselves for everything belongs to the Lord. The psalmist says in Psalms 24 and 1, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The whole world and they that dwell there for he has founded it upon the sea and he has established it upon the flood. Everything belongs to God. You belong to God. I belong to God. The voice belongs to God. Uh, your hands belong to God. Your heart belongs to God. Your feet belong to God. Everything. The service belongs to God. Every, everything belongs to God. For it is a borrowed ministry. Uh, 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 yeah. Verse number six. Y'all can see that I'm almost through, right? We, we are read six to seven. So in verse number six, here is the turning point. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Here is where the text turns upside down for this run. I hope it turned for you because you know what? When I was at home, it turned for me. I don't know about you, but it turned for me. Look at number six. And the man of God said, yeah, 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 yeah. Where fell it? And he showed him the place. And he cut down a stick and cast it in thither. And the iron did swim. Yeah, yeah. Here is, here is, here is the part, the piece that I call the parable. Yeah, in verse number six, we see the parable. And the man of God said. See, you know, in order to understand the parable, you got to break the symbolism. And the, look, 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 look at, look at the scene here. This, this here believer, this here brother was working, he was working, he was working. He had his axe in his hand. Yeah, yeah. And you know, no, no, the axe fell in the Jordan River. And he had lost his ability to do what God called him to do. Yeah. Here is the parable. Here it is. Here it is. This believer, this man, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, who lost his axe, he represents every believer. Man, yeah, 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 yeah. The axe that he lost in the Jordan River, that represents the, 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 the very gift God had given him for ministry. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna walk with me a little bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, he lost his axe in the Jordan River. And the waters of the Jordan River represent all the things that life will do to us. Can I come a little bit closer to it? Can I come a little bit closer to it? And then Elijah, who represents the almighty God, Elijah said, take me back to the place where you lost the thing that gave you purpose. And Elijah, speaking for God, Elijah took a stick and he put that stick in the Jordan River. That stick that Elijah placed in the Jordan represents the cross of Christ. Ah, oh, don't make me holler. Don't make me. Don't, don't, don't make me. Don't make me holler. Don't make me holler. 
and the iron that did swim represents a restored ministry. Can I go on and say it the way Newman need to say it? Can I go on and get out of here one last time, you all? The believer is you and I, and we lost something, you all. We lost it. We lost it. We lost it. Doesn't matter how you lost it, but you lost it. I lost it. But thanks be to God that whatever we lost, God is able to restore it. Right here in the text, the believer lost his act. And his axe was in the Jordan River. The Jordan River represents any and everything that life can do to us. But I'm glad to report that Elisha stands in for God. And Elijah took a stick, put that stick in the water, and the iron did swim. Ah, the stick that Elijah put in the water represents the cross of Christ and there is power there's power there is power in the cross of Christ no matter what you are going through there is power in the cross of Christ Elisha took the stick put it in the Jordan the same way God took Jesus put him on a cross and in the Jordan River the iron did swim but when Jesus was on the cross at Calvary he died for our sins but after he died he got up and because he got up I'm restored because he got up I'm renewed because he got up I've been redeemed because he got up I am redemption I am renewed in Christ Jesus. <laughs> Woo. Uh, this text, this text tells us that there's power in the cross. There's power <laughs> in the cross. Can I say it one more time? There's power in the cross of Christ. Yo, I know this 2022, but there's an old song in my spirit. Yeah, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now, right now, Right now, I'm happy. Are you happy? All the day. Yeah, that's the cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's power. Woo. That's power. That's po hey, that's power in the cross of Christ. Maybe somebody on today. Yeah, I received my sight, and now I'm happy. Oh, the door to the Lord's house is open. Yeah, yeah. At the cross. Yeah, where? Woo! Y'all remember that? Y'all, hey, hey, y'all remember that? At the burdens of my heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget this song. Don't, 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 don't forget this one, you all. It was there by faith. By faith. I received. By don't forget this one, y'all, because there's power. No matter what's going on, there's power in the cross of Christ. Woo. The door, the Lord has this open. Yeah, yeah. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you.
to the Lord's house is still open. Won't you come at this time while we still have a chance? You can come down at this time now, and if you are virtual, you can call the church at this time. We do have someone waiting on the line right now. Please call 770-997-0079. But won't you come? You can come for baptism. You can come under Christian experience. But won't you come? You can even come for restoration if there's anything that you, the believer, has lost. But won't you come? The door is still open. It was there by faith. You come. The door is still open. If there's anything that you've lost, God has all the promises. They're right there for you. It's just for the asking. Just simply come and confess that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that Christ died on the cross. I receive my Are your hearts and mind better now than it was when you came in? Pastor Newman, thank you for that powerful word of restoration. Because if no one else has changed, I know that I am. I take something home from that today. And that was for me personally. And just for you to remember, for that person that's contemplating your salvation or your church home, don't contemplate too long because time is winding up. Amen. Amen. If all my hearts and minds are clear, you can stand for our benediction. And once I give the benediction, if you just stand where you are and our ushers will guide us out. Amen. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. And all of us say, Wait for the ushers.